A very good morning to you. It is the 5th of October, Monday, 2020. And this is your friend Angus Bucken with a thought for the day. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and reading from verse 11. As an eagle stirs up its nest, hovers over its young, spreading out its wings, taking them up, carrying them on its wings. So the Lord alone led him, and there was no foreign God with him. Verse 13 says, He made him ride in the heights of the earth, that he might eat the produce of the fields. He made him draw honey from the rock and oil from the flinty rock. Oh, my dear friend, the Lord God has made us as eagles to ride the thermals when the storms of life come against us. Unlike that crow that's sitting on the power line looking for scraps on the earth, the eagle screeches with excitement when there are thermals stirring caused by big storms that are coming. He gets excited. And uh, he spreads out his wings and he flies even higher. You and I are not to concern ourselves with the intimidation of the devil. Remember, he is a liar and he is a thief. John chapter 10 verse 10, the thief comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus said, I've come to give you life and life abundantly. You say to me, but Angus, it's not fair. The accusations that are brought against me are not true. They've twisted the story. They've misrepresented me. Oh, I know it so very well. How do we deal with a situation like that? Well, just like the eagle does, we rise above it. We do not lower ourselves. Jesus is the one who will defend us. There's a Latin saying which goes like this. Aquila non captat muscas, which literally means eagles don't chase insects. We let the little housebird, the little mossy, he can deal with the insects. You and I are going to rise higher. We're going to hear from God and we are going to do exactly what he tells us to do today. Rise above your situation. Look unto Jesus, the author and the perfecter of your faith. Have a wonderful week. And remember, he's got you in the palm of his hand. God bless you and goodbye.